Hey guys, in this video, I have a brand new mobile editing tutorial for you all. This one is going to be on the split screen effect, or also known as the average classic. I believe this effect was created by Average himself, and I learned how to do this from his PC tutorial. I used his tutorial to create an overlay for you guys, so you can recreate this awesome effect on mobile for free. All credit goes to him, and his link will be in the description down below. And one more thing before we, the video starts, I recently got a supporter creator code from Epic, and if you guys would like to support me, be sure to use code LICKBTW in the Fortnite item shop. Thank you all so much, and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Okay guys, so for our split screen effect, or the Average Classic, the only app that I'm going to be using is the app Video Leap, but this is only available on iPhone, so you can do every single step the same way on CapCut, which is available on Android. So if you guys don't have an iPhone, you guys can use CapCut and get similar results to what I do now. So I'm going to open up Video Leap, and I op um, press the plus and add in my clip. And then the first thing we're going to do, or at least what I want to do, is add some velocity. This is an optional step, but I'm going to be using the velocity that I used in my velocity tutorial. It's a really simple velocity and it doesn't take too long to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on the clip and press audio and unlink the audio. And then we're going to go to the point of impact. So right where they see the damage numbers first pop up. And we're going to add a keyframe onto the music just as a marker. And then we're going to go down to the clip. We're going to press split. And then we're going to go back a little bit. So we see our character first start playing with their shotgun. So this frame right here. I'm going to split it again here. If I'm going too quickly for the velocity, don't forget that I already have a velocity tutorial, tutorial on my channel. You guys can go check that out for a more in-depth tutorial on how to do this. So we're going to go a little bit further to where the character shotgun is just a little bit above their head. We're going to split it again. And then now we should have three sections right here. So we're going to go on the first section, change the speed down to 0.5 speed or 50%. Second section, speed 2.0 or 200%. And third section, speed uh, 0.5%. If you guys have console clips or 30 FPS clips, you have to change the speed to something like 0.7 so it doesn't look as choppy. But now we can, if you go down to the, the clip audio, we can see the keyframes not lined up. So simply line up the keyframe with the impact right about here. Okay, and here's what it should look like now. Really simple velocity. It's pretty clean and not too difficult to do. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to add in my overlay that I made for the average classic or the split screen effect. I made this overlay on Premiere Pro. Um, I made it and I transferred over to my phone. So all of you mobile editors that don't have access to a PC or Premiere Pro, you guys are able to do this for free and it doesn't cost you anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go anywhere you want. Simply press mixer and add in the overlay I'll put in the description. And here is the overlay guys. Here, I'll move it over a little bit so you guys can see it. It's an open and closed uh, mask with Uni Ecto. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press transform I'm going to press fill so it fills the whole screen. If you guys want to change the speed or anything, if this is too slow for you guys, all you have to do is go to speed and change it to something like 1.2 or whatever you want. I'll change to 1.25. Now it should look like this. It's a little bit faster. That's completely up to you guys though. And then we're going to go to blending and we're going to choose plus lighter, the second to last option. This is the best one for making all the black screenness go away. We're going to drag this back. And you can see here that the impact is right here. So we're going to drag the ending of this clip onto here and it should snap on like that. Here's what, looks like, here's what it should look like now. And that's pretty clean. Um, now you can add an opacity buildup. I'll show you guys to do that now. Just zoom in a little bit. Add a keyframe, go a little bit forward. Add another keyframe and change the opacity down to something like 60 or 50. Like 60. You can change it to 60 for all of these. Or not speed. Just click on the second clip and change the opacity down to 60. Make sure to do these for all of them so it's um, similar um, uh, darkness for all three clips. And then this third one. Also change the opacity of this down to 60. Now it looks something like this. Yeah, that's pretty clean. If you guys want to have like a different color inside of the mask, you guys can use my sack mask tutorial that I did. Um, a few months ago or weeks ago, I'm not sure. I'll put the card for that in the top right of your screen right now. Click on that, watch that video, and then apply that same general concept to this average classic split screen effect that I have here. Again, all credit goes to Average for finding this effect. I'm pretty sure he was the creator of this, and at least I used this tutorial to make this overlay for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's a really, really cool effect, and it's really not that difficult to use since I made an overlay for it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.